Okay. Let's go see what Camp Golf needs. As I imagine we relieve them. They will relieve Bitter Springs. The fucking cycle continues. Oh shit. Thanks for giving me a heart attack, Boone. It's completely bloody unnecessary. Don't think you need to s shoot a Mylurk at point blank range. Alright. That would appear to be NCR. Oh my. And what have you found now? Oh, just... You guys keep beating the fuck out of the wildlife, I'll meet you there. Really can't be arsed right now. Good work, lads. Showed them. Yeah, that fucking row of sandbags is really gonna keep out marauding invaders. Christ on a bike. Okay, camp golf. See what's going on. Aha, uh -huh, medical tent. Do you offer Smart any move for the kings to back down? Glad Boxes to see you. Need a patch job? Um. Supplies, please. I... I'll have that. Give me Thank a shot you. if you need anything out. Alright. One more and we should have enough. Hey, it's me, Hero of the Goddamn NCR. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Where's the commanding officer? Uh, no, you don't look very commandy. Have you, sir? You don't. Who are you? Oh hell! What is it now? Um, Captain Giles at Bit Spring needs re Springs needs reinforcements. Can you spare any? Hey, you're a damn fine soldier, and word on the grapevine is that you're already some kind of hero. You got yourself a deal. Well, that was easy enough. How did you end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. They've gotten soft with no action. So what do you do now that the fighting's died down? Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Uh, sounds like you're a little disappointed. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. Hey! But as for the rest, that's I me. don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. Uh, maybe I can help you. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. So, how do you like the army? Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. That's some dedication. Thanks. I only wish some of the soldiers under my command would share some of it. Jesus, and you're still a sergeant? Bye. Okay, well, um... Where's this guy with my name? Hello. You Mags? No? Mags? Mags! 
Maggie, Maggie, Max, and Sun. Ah, hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. I swear it's a boy's name. So, um, tell me about yourself. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. How come you didn't make it in the rangers? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Yeah, probably. So, sounds like you're not too fond of your squad mates. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. This place doesn't seem so bad. Please. Camp golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. So why do you join the army? I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. So how do you end up assigned to Camp Golf? Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. How did you fuck up then? Uh, anyway, Sergeant asked me to talk about getting your squad into shape. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. Can't be as hard as that. What needs to get done? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range. Shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. Okay, let's set, get them out on the range. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. Never mind, I'll talk to the others about their ideas first. Okay, I'll be here if you come to your senses. Hi, you're obviously part of the misfits. Oh shit, here comes the brown noser. What you want? Asshole, I could kill you in seconds. Why are you in the army? Shit, man, it was this or the fiends. And fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Noble. Can you tell me anything about Camp Golf? What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. So what's your story? Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. So, no anything about your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Sounds like a bunch of winners. Whatever. Not like I need any of them. I do just fine on my own. Uh, Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to your squad about getting them in shape. Yo, I'll tell you what this squad needs. A healthy dose of angry juice. Angry juice? Psycho, the big red one. I used to run with the fiends. I still got the hookups. Smuggle some in and you'll see an improvement. Uh, fuck no. Whatever. See ya. What a fucking idiot. Who are you? Nelson's back in our... I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Well, you're a posh wanker. How do a guy like you end up in the army? It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. Good to see patriotism is still alive. Tell me about yourself. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. So are you in charge, then? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. 
So that's a no, then. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow, parochial view of in charge, then yes. It's a no. Are we done? Not yet, dick nuts. McCready asked me about getting your squad into shape. What's your ideas? That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? He thinks you might respond better to someone who isn't an authority figure. Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. Uh, maybe I can help out. And how would you propose accomplishing such a goal? It occurs to me that you might want to cheat. Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal, you should look elsewhere. Uh, I'm only joking, you're an asshole. You're actually going to do some work, fuckwit. As you wish. I'm sure the optimal solution will become apparent to you in time. I want to stick a grenade in your anus. Bye. I somehow suspect you'll be back- Shut up. Patrol in the Mojave almost me. Hey, you sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. Ah. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. So, how'd you end up in the army? Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. Mmm, it is kind of an intrinsic part of the army, my friend. I'm sorry about that. What do you think of Camp Golf? Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Can you tell me about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Poindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Oh. Why are you so afraid of fighting? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Well, Sergeant McCready asked me about getting your squad in shape. What's your opinions? To me? Well, I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. Human niceness? That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. So you think I should find a way of convincing the misfits to get along? That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. No, I, I think that's a pretty good idea, Hanoran. Okay. Right. Squad cohesion. That is the best way. Point Dexter. You've managed to become extraordinarily well liked by the top brass. Shut up. Going back to squad improvements, I have an idea. And what do you propose? Hang on. I'll deal with you later. Talking to Mags first. She's the most sensible one out of you dumb fuckers. Mags. I'm not supposed to know this, but I hear they're dispatching elite ranger units from California Everybody to deal with the... in the wasteland knows that. So about the improvements. Yeah, what about it? I told you we need marks. Hey. Wow! The... So, about your squad mates, maybe if you try to lead an example instead of tearing them down, you'd do better. You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. Mm-hmm. No, nope. Easy enough. Oh, shit, here comes the brown. Shut up. So, about your squad mates. We don't... Oh, hey. 
yeah, it's all charming and everything, your little fucking opinions, but team building, you know, it's a good idea. Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I ought to give him a shot. Good man. And point extra. You've managed to become extra. Oh god. Every time you speak, I want to smash you in the face. Your squad. Well, since you're uh, so respected, maybe you can get this unit into shape. Hmm. You're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit, it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Yo, Y'all sure are our big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. <laughs> How's the human niceness working? Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be a-okay. Excellent. Teamwork. That's how you do it. Seriously, wasn't that freaking hard? At all. Let's check how the sergeant's feeling about the entire thing. Yo, Sarge. Well, their test scores are only marginally improved, but I'm hearing good things about the Misfits' teamwork. Excellent. Those test scores will come up slowly, slowly. Now we're working together. Shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Okay, let's check out this dilapidated. Is that a golf cart with no wheels? Yeah, looks like it. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Those would be the rangers. Ah, uh, look at that sequoia. It's a cool gun. I kind of want one. Oh, Christ, it's named after Mr. House. Hello. You guys all look the same. Where's the ranking officer? No. You're not the ranking officer. Why would you have hundreds upon fucking rangers and just have them walk around? Oh, it's Housey. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Megalomaniacal asshole. Hello. Yeah, they're just essentially guarding a massive fucking. Lucky 38 VIP card. Yeah, whatever, I'll take that. I'm sure they won't mind. This one here. Drawing. Carpet. No. Fuck's sake. Um. Circle. Excellent. Bloopy bloopy bloop. Executive override. Ooh. I just pushed a button and I don't know what that does. Hello. Oopsie doodle. God, house is going to be pissy about whatever the hell I've just done. We won't go quiet. The Legion can count on it. Anybody? Oh, hi. Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. 
takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now, what can I do for you? Um, tell me about yourself. Folks around here call me the chief, but Hanlon's just fine. The rangers run themselves pretty well, but I try to lend a hand. Mostly administrative work, helping coordinate intel on the radio. That and keeping an eye on the fires growing across the water. How do you coordinate the intel? It's a simple system when it works. Patrol rangers radio intel to ranger stations. Comm rangers send the intel up the station chain until it reaches Camp Golf. Then I or one of the other rangers on duty organize the data, evaluate it, and send information to camps or troopers in the field. Well, why don't ranger stations send the intel directly to the troopers? Comm rangers might have an incomplete picture of the situation. There's a lot going on out there. Intel needs to be coordinated through golf so we can verify and advise appropriately. Troopers have enough to deal with. We don't want them questioning their intel. Mm hmm. Shoot. So. How is the NCR doing? Mojave Outpost sent word through the stations. The Rangers coming up from Baja moved through Dayglo a week ago. Some of the patrol rangers have reported that Oliver's power armor heavy troopers are starting to reinforce the front lines. I wish they got here a bit earlier, but that's a Senate for you. So, tell me about these heavy troopers. They must they be have the best equipment the NCR can get its hands on. Power armor salvaged from our war with the Brotherhood. Tech strip out the joint servos so you don't need special training to wear it. It feels like you're carrying a Brahmin on your back, but it can take a heck of a lot of punishment. Okay, but I don't think that's the point of freaking power armor. So what do the new rangers mean? The Baja rangers can do more advanced night scouting and sharpshooting to assist the troopers. Ranger combat helmets are old pre-war gear. They have built-in low-light optics. Makes a big difference. Hmm. Tell me some Shoot. more. So what do you know about Caesar? The best of the best, and worst of the worst. He came out of NCR, one of the followers of the apocalypse. Like a lot of the followers, he went out in the wilderness with a partner to try to help those who needed helping. Not much different from how the rangers used to be. Except with books and medicine instead of guns. Where did he go? Out to the Grand Canyon. He met a missionary from Utah. A man by the name of Joshua Graham. Graham helped translate for the followers and the tribes. All three of them got nabbed by the Blackfoots down there, back when they were still at war with every other tribe in the Southwest. Are Blackfoots part of the Legion? Yes and no. The Blackfoots don't exist anymore, just like any other tribe that gets swallowed by the Legion. Caesar takes the tribal out of the tribe. Scrapes and burns off tattoos, breaks up families, forces mixed breeding so all the old loyalties die away. The only tribe in the Legion is the Legion. Caesar is their chief, father, and God, all rolled into one. So how did a follower wind up becoming Caesar? Somewhere along the way, he realized he needed to educate the Blackfoots or they were going to get wiped out with the rest of the tribe. Showed them how to use guns, how to make explosives. Once he taught the Blackfoots a thing or two, they needed him. And he no longer needed the followers, NCR, or anyone else. He decided he could remake the tribes of the Southwest whether they wanted it or not. He became Caesar, and Joshua Graham became his legate, his right hand. And that's where Graham stayed until Hoover Dam. 
Hmm. Yeah, what do you think happened to Graham afterwards? Losing the dam was the worst defeat the Legion ever suffered. Graham had been with Caesar since the beginning, but he had to set an example. The Praetorians covered Graham in pitch, lit him on fire, and down into the Grand Canyon he went. Uh, let me guess, if that was the end. It's not that clear cut. You have to understand, Graham was the toughest son of a gun anyone around these parts had ever seen. Before Hoover, we had five kill reports on Graham from Rangers and first recon sharpshooters who tried to take him out. Some folks think he's still alive. Call him the Burned Man. Yeah, man, he's actually quite a nice guy. Be on the religious side for my tastes, but he's all right. Shoot. So, what's the Legion been up to recently? Word is that the Legion's old-timers have shown up. Caesar's veterans from the Red Oki Centuria and what was the Painted Rock tribe. They're the best of the best and the baddest of the bad. Short of a Centurion or Praetorian, they don't come any tougher. You come across a pack of them, weigh your options carefully. What makes these veterans so tough? Take a regular legionary and age him ten years. Whatever they lose to age, they make up for with experience. Life expectancy isn't long in the Legion. You live ten years in Caesar's army, you're forced to be reckoned with. Tell me about the Centurions. There's no real equivalent to them in the NCR. Centurions are battle-born elite officers who earn their rank with blood and sweat. They wear special outfits, too, pieced together from the armor of all their defeated enemies. Good commanders, tough opponents. So, who are Praetorians? Caesar's elite guard. They travel with him wherever he goes. A bit of insurance in case any of his guests get funny ideas. They aren't the toughest legionaries, but they're the most devoted to Caesar. They believe in everything the legion stands for. Hmm. So, tell me about Reigns. I could tell you a lot if you had the time. But at my age, I'm not sure which of us would get tired first. What do you want to know? So, have any good stories to tell? Suppose it depends on what you think's good. Most folks want to hear about Hoover Dam and Boulder City, but it's a long story. If you want some tall tales about hunting down slavers or busting up gangs, talk to one of the younger rangers. There must be something good Rangers have done that you're proud of. It's kind of a long one, but off right. About 20, 25 years ago, a group of NCR settlers pushed way south into Baja. I guess it doesn't seem so far now if you look at a map, but back then they were out of ways. They built this little shanty town around a well in the middle of nowhere. Called it Rattletail. Word got back to one of our stations that raiders had been attacking the place. I went out with six rangers. We must have been on the trail for a week before we got to Rattletail. We lost one woman to night stalkers and another almost died of dehydration. When we reached the place, it's six shacks set up around an old well. There's over two dozen bodies lying in the dunes way outside of town and five men with 308 rifles crouched behind sandbags. And these bodies, these people out in the sand, they aren't raiders, aren't even heavily armed. They're just people who were trying to get to the only well in 50 miles. I didn't have to talk to the men to see that they did not care one bit. They had planted an NCR flag over the well. And they would not budge until every last one of them was laid out dead and cold. So I walked up and told them there was a group of raiders coming, 100 strong. I made up some cockamamie name for them and everything. The men looked at each other, looked at us, and asked me what we were going to do about it. I told them we would take them back into NCR territory because we'd already lost 10 rangers on the way out. Ten rangers, five men with 308 rifles. Well, that was enough for them. They packed up what they could, and we took them back north. 
Last I heard, they settled somewhere in Anza Borrego. Raised big horners. Had some tough times, but it worked out okay for them. So there you go. That's my one bit of good. So what happened at Hoover and Boulder City? In big battles, Caesar deploys his legionaries in waves. Recruits up front, prime soldiers behind the recruits, old guard bringing up the rear. Opponents wear themselves out dealing with the first two waves, if they survive that long. When the veterans step up, there's not much fight left. Caesar can adapt, though, and when required, he can run any mix of legionaries as skirmishers and still retain order in the ranks. Joshua Graham, Caesar's old legate, he wasn't so flexible. When the Legion attacked Hoover Dam, General Oliver ordered his troopers back to the middle ground just after first contact. Graham pushed all of the Legionaries onto the dam, filling the east side with recruits up front and veterans in the back, by the book. But once they were in, they were stuck there. Oliver's troopers were entrenched and wouldn't give a foot. That's when we ordered the Rangers and the first recon sharpshooters to start picking off veteran Legion officers from a high ridge west of the dam. That only lasted about a minute before Graham ordered the back ranks to push through to the front and rush the ridge. Caused total chaos among the younger Legionaries. Oliver's troopers fell back to the side walkways and stayed out of the veteran's way. By the time the veterans got to the ridge, we were already in Boulder City. They followed us down there, but we were out before they realized what was happening. We had packed the old city with C-4 and dynamite. Crude, but it did the job. Those who didn't die in the blast were in no position to mount a defense. The ones left on the dam didn't know what to do. The troopers routed them. Graham pulled the remaining legionaries back, but the battle was over. He went south, back to the Grand Canyon, back to Caesar. And that was last we saw or heard from Joshua Graham. Jesus. So how long have you been in the Rangers? Oh, well, I guess it must be coming up on 40 years or so. Back before Elise was chief, anyway. It was a heck of a lot harder then. Weren't as many of us to go around, but I think it was a lot easier to tell the good guys from the bad. So, what do Rangers do? Well, there's what we're supposed to be doing and what we're actually doing. There's a big gap between those two things. About as wide as that lake out there. So, what are you supposed to be doing? To protect against all forms of tyranny. As simple as that. Thirty, forty years ago, the wasteland was full of despots. Slavers, raiders, tough-talking hoodlums with gangs who liked to kick around towns. Back then, the NCR military was still young. Couldn't cover much ground. It took groups like ours to tip the balance back to the good guys. So what are you actually doing? Sitting on the shore of Lake Mead, looking east. Listening to a radio. Trying to not get too many people killed. I'm too old to be slapping leather, but I had hope for something else. More than this, anyway. So why have rangers here? There's a lot of answers to that question, but it started with the Ranger Unification Treaty. We weren't always the only show in town. Nevada had its own posse, the Desert Rangers. They fought Caesar even farther east out in Arizona. Years back, we met with the Desert Rangers at Mojave Outpost and agreed to help them against Caesar if they would join the NCR. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Well, it's good talking to you, Hanlon. Adios. Huh. Let's see if we can find this Chief Elise. She might be fun to talk to.